my name is Jacqueline Graklikari. I am a student from Malta and I am currently studying a master's in geology at the University of Iceland. Um, my main specialization is in physical volcanology and geochemistry and I'm currently in my second year of studies. Um, so essentially I'm now currently working on my thesis which happens to be on an eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula. And right now we have an eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula, so it's awesome. I guess a very common question that arises is our ability um, to predict volcanic eruptions, I guess, um, because a lot of people seem to think that it is very easy to do that with all our technologies, but as it showed here on Reykjanes, um, we were aware that there was unrest, but no one was thinking that it was going to happen last Friday, and instead it actually did, so... Oh, definitely excited. Not scared. <laughs> a lot of people, especially if they don't live on a volcanic area, they tend to think that the worst you can get is the lava as a hazard, but in reality, that is usually never the case. Um, for example, right now on the Reykjanes Peninsula, the main issue is the sulfuric gas plume. Um, and if you go really close to it, you end up, you know, really affected by the toxic gases. Other times you have the open loops. So, and you, like, if you're not aware of these, that would be one major hazard that you're going to face. I mean, yeah, um, obviously you miss the interaction with other people and the networking. It's a bit harder sometimes to be able to do that, especially if you're just uh, an early career scientist starting out. Um, but there's also good things which have come out of it. Um, for example, the accessibility of lectures as well as conferences online. So, you know, there's pros and cons to every situation. Yes, um, I'm mostly looking forward to the Magma Chamber Simulator course, um, as well as the um, two sessions related to the volcano glacier interactions and also the magma sand and um, shallow processes involved in volcanic eruptions. Those I think are the ones I'm really looking forward to, but anything with volcanoes in it, it will go and will do for me. <laughs> All the topics that there are in the program really touch upon everything so it's really hard to add on i think it's actually going to be kind of overwhelming being the first like being the first time like doing this because i saw the program and it is so full but i'm also very excited because it's going to be super interesting <laughs>